Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the Happy Umbrella. Oh, I think it's super cute. Just kind of, I was thinking of April showers bringing May flowers, I guess, and um, a little, plus a little Hello Kitty toy that I bought for myself. Um, it had a little umbrella and it just kind of inspired me to make one, so super cute. Um, Band-wise, it's 207 for the umbrella color and then there's 33 for the handle color and then you have the eyes which I use the 9mm pony beads which are the regular size ones and then you'll need the cheek bands and the mouth band. He's looking a little frowny right now. Be happy. Of course I guess if it's raining he probably wouldn't be too happy but he was happy a little bit ago. But I love it so I'm going to show you how to make it. Um, there is some prep work involved right here along the edge. We're using the um, their triple wrapped bands to kind of help keep the shape of the umbrella. So put this guy over here. Stay. All right. Not really pointing at you there. So we're gonna make the triple wrapped bands. You have to have twelve of them, and they're just. It's three bands that you're going to double wrap onto your hook. So there's one on the hook, figure eight. Grab both bands, wrap them again, and do another one on the hook. Wrap it around, and wrap it around again, and one more. And then once you get those on the hook, you'll take two bands and you'll pull them through. Like that. So into the center. So you would need 12 of these. Um, so you have the latch hook, it would be much faster and quicker to do this. Um, also, if you want to change like the little edging on this, you can make the wrap bands a different color and then the two bands that you pull through make those the color of the rest of your umbrella. Just sort of something a little bit different if you want. So 12 of these. Then you'll need the cheeks. Kitty. Kitty just came up and licked my elbow. Um, you'll take a band, whatever color you want the cheek to be, on the hook, wrap it around into the figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then take two bands and pull them through, which are the color of your umbrella. So two cheek bands, and then like I said, I'm using these, the larger pony beads, which I'll put the bands through while we're looming. But if you don't have um, the larger pony beads, you can use two bands that are the color of your eye that you want. Put them on your hook, wrap them around with the figure eight, grab all four bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands that are the color of your umbrella. I like that. So you have to have two eyes, two eyes, two cheeks, and 12 of the triple wrap bands. And you want to make those um, ahead of time because we do use the triple wrap bands right away. So. You'll pause the video and do that, and then come back. And then when you're back, um, one loom, wrong end towards me. And you'll want those triple wrap bands. And then we'll also put the mouth on ahead of time to make it a little bit easier. So whatever color you want the mouth to be, I'm just going to pick some pins here in the middle of the loom. Take my band, wrap it around one pin double it then I'll just use my hook to pull it up and over the next pin up like that so once you have that we'll take our triple wrap bands I'm going to start right here so to be kind of make sure you get this configuration right otherwise your mouth will be a little off center but so I'll start down here so you have two spaces before you get to the mouth band that's there. And you'll put the triple wrap bands all the way around. These bands that I'm using this time are a little bit stretchier, so I'm kind of worried that they're going to look a little funny, but we'll see how that goes at the end. Just go right on top of that mouth band. We're going to ignore it until we get there. So. Ignore it until we get to where we're putting the mouth on. Probably a little bit more clear. Go up again. So 
So like that, there's one cross down here, and then we go up one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll come back and come back to the beginning. That kind of freaked me out. My cat just like climbed up and started licking my elbow. Don't like to be a little surprised, I guess. She usually does that when she wants something, so I'm not sure what she wants right now. Because I know that I just fed and watered them. I guess she wants some love. She'll have to wait. She likes to sit on my chest while I'm trying to read books, which is not very helpful, so... That's probably what she's wanting. She's a big cat, so she's... <laughs> Alright, so it should look like this now. Now we're going to take another row. Two bands all the way around right on top. These bands are... They're Rainbow Loom bands, the pink. And I don't use pink very often when I'm making things, especially like the happy food and stuff. There isn't many foods that are pink. So it's kind of... They've been sitting around for a while. So they're a little bit dry. Let's we'll see. I guess it'd be perfect for an umbrella because then when it gets wet it won't be dry. So like that. Then you'll take your hook and you'll flip over the bottom four bands all the way around. Then when you get to where the mouth is, just skip the mouth and still get those four bands right there. Like that. Push your bands down. We'll do another row all the way around, same way. Two bands. You know with umbrellas you never, or at least I never seem to have one when I need one. And then if you do have one and you actually use it out when it's raining, then you have a wet umbrella to deal with and where you put it you try and shake it off but it's still not dry and yeah, useful things, but sometimes they're not helpful. Like that. Same thing, flip the bottom four bands all the way around. I guess you could use it as a weapon to defend yourself, but... I think everybody I know that has an umbrella would be the ones that are like totally collapsible. Not a very good weapon. And I don't know why I'm talking about that. Well, I do. It's because the image of Britney Spears <clears throat> with her umbrella popped into my head, so forgive me. <laughs> like that. Now we can flip that mouth band up. So go ahead and grab it and just pull it up over the top of the pins. That looks like that. rolled away. Now we're going to do our cheek row. So we'll need our cheeks. We'll start with still two bands. Start here at the bottom, across, and then two, and then a cheek.
And then we'll do two bands and the other cheek. And two bands around the rest. Go ahead and flip the bottom four all the way around. Push the bands down. Next is our eye row, so you want your beads or your eye bands. Again, two bands. There, and then I'll have our eye above here. And with these ones, hopefully thread them through. Eye. And two bands. And another eye. And then two bands are on the rest. I made it. Usually I say something about how easy it is to get the bands through the eye and then, then I start fumbling with it. So I didn't say anything until after I was done. Like that. Flip the bottom four again. You want to push your bands down and now what we need to do or what will be helpful is we want to um, have this grow up so I'm just going to take my hook it's basically the wrapped band we want to get a hold or the yeah the triple wrapped band we want to get a hold of so you can get a hold of one of those and you should be able to just kind of go around the inside of the loom and untuck them. Just be careful not to pull anything off. All the way around. This makes it easier when we start to get closer to where we reduce some. So then it should look like this. All pulled up. Our ends, the bands are tucked up behind this pin on both ends. So now we're going to do another row all the way around. Two bands. We do something at the end kind of weird with the wrapped bands. Um, 
It's done to stabilize the outside rim of the umbrella, but... And believe me, I tried doing it a different way, but it didn't... I like this way better, so... So like that. I'm going to flip the bottom four. Push the bands down. Again, tuck these on the inside. And now we're going to reduce. So we're going to start here on the right side, third pin up. I'm going to pick up the top two bands. And these are coming from the upper pin. So they're going to go to the lower pin. And I'll pick up the other two bands. And they'll be coming from the lower pin. So they're going to go to the upper pin. And we'll come up here to the end, or the very top one on the right. Grab the top two bands, and they're coming from the left, so they're going to go over to the right. And then the other ones will go over to the left. And then coming around, the third pin down on the left side, you pick up the top two bands. And they're coming from the lower pin, so they're going to go to the upper pin. And the other two bands are going to come down. And then all the way down to the beginning on the left side, pick up the top two bands. And they're coming from the left over here, so they're going to come over to the right. And the other two bands will go to the left. So it should look like this when you get there. Then we'll do a row around. So make sure on these one part to do a long stretch. So still two bands, go all the way across the bottom, and then two regular, and then a long stretch, and then two regular, and then across the loom, regular, long stretch, And a regular one. Like that. So every pin is going to have a reducing or two reducing bands and then four bands underneath that to flip over. So reducing band, four bands. Reducing band, four bands. And these you can flip over once you get past them. Reducing four and on the other side, reducing four again, just gonna flip that towards the inside, reducing four, reducing four, flip to the inside, and last one. Inside. Like that. Push your bands down. So we're going to reduce again. And we're going to do that starting down here on the lower right. You'll pick up the top two bands. Mine are coming from the right, so they're going to come over to the left. And the other two are going to go to the right. I'm going to come up here to this pin, second one down, or I guess it's the middle one now. Pick up the top two. And they're harder to tell on the sides where they're coming from. Like this one. Just because they're squished in there. This one is coming from the top, so it's going to stretch all the way down to the bottom corner. And the other one will stretch up. Oops. 
I'll go around to this farthest one out on the top left. Pick up the top two. They're coming from the left. So they're going to go over to the right. And the other two will come to the left. And then lastly, we'll do this pin here on the left. The middle one now again. Pick up the top two. And mine are coming from the lower one. So they're going to go up. And the other two are going to go down. Like that. So now we're on four pins. Push your bands down. And we'll do a row around. So it's two bands. And then there's a long stretch all the way across the side. Two bands across the top. And then two bands all the way along the side. So now every pin is going to have four reducing bands and then four bands below. I always do the reducing bands first. So I'll take, try and figure out which one's on top. So this side and then over here. And then I'll flip the bottom four. And then come down here. These ones. And then once you get the flipped over on both uh, both pins flipped over on one side, you can flip this over towards the center. And do the same thing on the other side. Reducing the ends first, and then the four on the bottom. Back towards the center. So then go ahead and pull up the middle here. Be careful. I'm going to pull it off the loom. So now we're going to take this off of our loom. I'm just going to put my hook in and gather them up all the way around. Like that. And because we did that long stretch on the sides, these bands might kind of be stretched right here. We'll fix them later, but sometimes just giving it a little tug before you tie it off will help as well. Of course, my bands, like I said, are kind of weird, or they feel weird. But then we're going to take two bands and just pull them through everything on your hook. Both ends on. Make a slip knot. Pull tight. And I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to stretch it. I have to tell you, this makes it a cute little hat too. Doo -doo -doo. Isn't that cute? But just giving it some good stretches. Um, I'm going to take my tail band and pull it to the inside. I'll just leave it there for now. And these are those bands that had the long stretch. Um, I will say that these are, hopefully yours don't look like this. Um, mine were never stretched out quite this far before, so, and all the other ones I made. I've made like three or four umbrellas already. I think it's these bands, kind of disappointing. Just like making something and then feeling like something is off. But just going up next to them and taking them and pulling them and tucking them inside. Or just kind of into the edge there. 
Now you may notice that this is still really curly and it's not like that. So how we fix that is our triple wrap bands that we have on the edge right above it they have these bands right here. What you're going to do is take your triple wrap bands and push them through to the other side. And you'll do that all the way around. I think these bands are horrible. Oh my gosh. I'll do that all the way around. And that will give you the poofed out effect. Now, I'm assuming this is because of my bands, because I didn't have any issues like it with this, but um, these are my wrapped bands from the, or the bands I pulled through my wrapped bands. Um, they're just not wanting to stretch, or they're loose. So I'm going to take my wrapped bands that are on there, and I'll just spread them out farther along the band that I pulled, the bands that I pulled through. So then that gets rid of that little extra piece that's poking there. This will take me a moment. Some of them look fine, so it's definitely my bands. Like you can see, one of my bands is nice and tight, and then my other one's loose, so... Arg. I know I'll have somebody comment to be like, why didn't you just redo the whole tutorial? Well, because somebody else might run into the same problem and I would hate for them to get all the way done and be like, this stinks, it's not, doesn't look right, doesn't look like what she did, wasted all that time, wasted all my bands. So if I ever run into problems in tutorials, I usually try and just like work through them because, you know, it might be a little teaching moment for somebody else to go, oh, so that's how you fix that. i got a couple more here. I'll be satisfied. So that's pretty good. I'll have to fix it a little bit, but look like that. Sweet. We have the umbrella top. Okay, so now we want to put the handle on. I'm going to make this one yellow. So like that. So I have a little like knob on the top and then it comes through the bottom. So to do that, I'm going to take need one color, one band the color of your umbrella, and then two bands that are um, the color of your handle. So I take those two bands on the hook, wrap them around once, and grab them, wrap them around again. They have kind of a little knob, kind of like making the eyes, sort of the, the wrapped band eye bands. So what we want to do is I'm going to take my hook, grab my other band that's the color of my umbrella on my hook, put it on, double it, and then pull through my little knot like that. So once we have this, it needs to be on the top of here. So this should hold fairly well, but you can just take it and poke it onto your loom just for a moment so you don't lose it. But you want to take your hook, I'm going to poke it up through the bottom. I'll kind of find the center where there's like four bands there. 
I'm gonna find the center, put my hook up through, and then I'm going to grab this back onto my hook. So it looks like this. I'm going to grab the one end, I'm going to hold it in my hand, pull the one end down, it's on my hook, pull it back down through, and let go of it, awesome. Pull it back down. Luckily we're not working with a lot of bands here. Pull it down so we're coming out the bottom side. It's hard to see, but but then I'm going to take my hook and go back up through the bottom through the top just somewhere on the other side of the center. Doesn't have to be perfect. You'll kind of see if you've got it or not. I'm going the wrong way, that's why. It's like, why is it not catching anything? Up through the other side. I got it. Hook up through the other side. Grab the other end. And then I'm going to hang on to my little knot. Pull that down. And pull it down through the bottom. Trying not to snag everything on my way down. So it looks like that. I know it's squished, but I have my little knot in the center. Then I have the two bands, the two umbrella bands on the middle. So now all we're going to do is we're going to chain 15 doubled bands, or two doubled bands. How are we looking? Two bands on the hook. Wrap them around one time, pull them out, and pull them through what's on your hook, like that. So that's one. So we're going to do 14 more just like that. So I'll take a moment. I know it seems like a lot, but it's it works out that that's what it needs to get past the end of the umbrella and still have enough of a handle showing. showing. I'm counting in my head, so... <laughs> but I spoke, so then I forgot. Okay, so that's 15 doubled. Then just take one band, double it, pull it through both ends on the hook, then do a slip knot, pull it tight, and then you'll hide this little tail here by weaving it into the side. Like that. So I have this. And then what we need to do is just curve the handle. So you just take your hook and you'll kind of stick it in 
first see where the kind of where it falls. This looks like this is kind of the front side here. So I'll just kind of go, it's the little last one I did. I'll come up to maybe the second bump. Put my hook in through there and then I can twist it. So it starts to curve around. And I'll come up maybe a couple more bumps. Curve it again. And it's just putting your hook in there and then twisting the bands the direction you want to go to get a little curve in it. And then there's the band from the top portion that we used to tie in or to close the top. Just thread that around on the inside to hide it. But now we have a super adorable umbrella. Actually, I actually like how this one looks almost a little better than the other one. I don't know why they're almost they're the same, but just a preference in my head, I guess. Maybe it's the these are um, kind of sticky. They're like the neon blue from Michael's Rainbow Loom bands, but they're I guess Michael's exclusive. So they're kind of sticky, but these are just opaque bands, and I almost like how they went a little bit better. But super cute. I think they're fun. Just something else to make. I mean, you can't go wrong with things that are smiley, so. Well, usually. But I hope you're able to follow them well and you can make your own cute little umbrella. Um, size wise, here's my little happy gingerbread man. So you can kind of see where they fall for size. I told you to make a cute hat too. Ooh. Um, so I just thought I'd show you that real quick too. But I hope you enjoy them. If you make some, of course, share them with me on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or my Facebook, which is Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. And then, of course, it'd be fabulous if you would give my videos a thumbs up. And then if you would subscribe to my channel too, that would be fabulous. Um, I definitely appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, I can't wait to keep sharing with you and creating with you. So... And I will have more for you soon. Happy looming.